Growing up, many of us had a dream car in mind and most often it was a Bugatti. Its sleek and luxurious design combined with the speed of a Falcon is a sight to behold. This video dives into the history of Bugatti as a brand and how it has evolved over the years from its highs and lows to being a world-renowned icon in the world of supercars and luxury. History Artist Bugatti was founded by Ettore Bugatti over a hundred years ago in 1909 in a place called Molsim, France. Ettore Bugatti comes from a family of artists and his father is a famous Italian furniture and jewellery designer. Since then, the brand has developed a reputation for building some of the most exclusive and high-speed cars ever made. Still, the company has found themselves in financial stress during its storied history and has been passed through a multitude of owners. Volkswagen claimed rights The rights to Bugatti were snapped up by Volkswagen when Ferdinand Peach, the godson of the grandson of Ferdinand Porsche, invented the other famous racing car, decided to take over that along with the rights to Bentley and a host of other similar vehicles. His passion was developed when several years before the creation of Veyron, he demanded that the engineers created a vehicle that could handle 1000 horsepower. He was also told that it would be impossible. Bugatti Planes In the 1930s, the Bugatti company got involved in the creation of planes in the hopes to beat the Germans in the Deutsche de la Mort competition. Their plane model would be called the Bugatti 100 p but it never failed. It was designed by Louis de Mont, a Belgian engineer. Bugatti built trains during the 1930s, including one that was the world's fastest. The Bugatti name may be mainly associated with hypercars in 2022, but it has graced other products over the years, including airplane motors and more recently pool tables. The company also spent time during the 1930s working on trains, or as it liked to call them, auto rails. These vehicles may have never been used widely, but they were still impressive, setting multiple speed records between 1933 and 1936. The 1939 Explosion One Bugatti vehicle lost its air engine in 1939 in an explosion when it was being tested in one of its locations. The entire area nearly blew up because of it. Bugatti has also won the 24 Hours of Le Mans twice. Although the brand hasn't entered in any major competition for quite some time, it used to. In fact, Bugatti was a force in racing during the 20s and 30s. A privately entered Bugatti won the first Monaco Grand Prix in 1929, but the marquee's greatest triumphs came at 24 Hours of Le Mans, where cars were driven by John Pierre Wimmel were victorious in 1937, along with co-driver Robert Benoist and 1939 Pierre Veron. Veron, the Bugatti Veron, is one of the fastest and most powerful, most luxurious motor cars available at any price. Its specifications are out of this world, including a 1200 horsepower top speed of 270 miles an hour and an average price of over two and a half million dollars. Very dangerous engine. To achieve the fastest speed possible, when engineers were testing the first Veyron engine in 2001, the engine produced enough heat that it nearly burned the factory down. Front grille. In the early days, the front grille of Bugatti Veyron was made out of aluminium. But it turns out that it wasn't a good idea for high speed testing. Surprisingly, Bird strikes are a big issue for this high-class vehicle as they are for airplanes. Diamonds and Speedometer Although it comes with a heavy price tag, one of the several options from the factory for a variance in the car was including a one carat diamond into the speedometer and power needles. 10 Radiators The standard car only has one radiator, but Bugatti Veyron needs 10 radiators to keep all 1200 of its horses cool. Since it takes 15 hours to build just one radiator for this vehicle, that means it takes over 150 hours to build the entire system for only one vehicle. 
In comparison, one single Toyota factory manufactures around 14,250 Toyota cars in the same amount of time. Don't expect good mileage. When the Veyron runs at full speed, it takes 12 minutes to empty the fuel tank. With rising gas prices, you need to have assets just dedicated to cover the fuel expenses. Chiron The 500-unit Chiron production sold out in just 5 years. The brand has only built two series production models, the Veyron and Chiron, since it was acquired by Volkswagen Aging in 1998, both of which were produced in very limited numbers. Only 450 Veyrons were built during 10 years it was in production. Amazingly, the Chiron soared through its entire production run, which would include 50 more examples than its predecessor in half that time. Michelin had to make special tires for the Chiron. 304 miles per hour speed run. The most restricting and dangerous element of a top speed trial is the tire of the car is running. For the Chiron's 304 miles per hour sprint, Michelin took its sports cup to shoes and wove stronger metallic threads into the rubber. Exhaustive testing at speeds of up to 317 miles per hour was conducted long before the shoes were fitted to the Chiron, and each tire was x-rayed after to find any imperfections. Well, that's a lot of research and dedication just for the tires. There are over 2 million miles of carbon fiber inside one Chiron. Bogari claims that if all the carbon fiber elements of a single Chiron was disassembled down to individual strands and connected end to end, it would total to 2,150,000 miles. For reference, that's about 9 times the distance from the Earth to the Moon, or enough to wrap the Earth around 86 times. Bugatti Center DHE The Bugatti Center DHE was unveiled in 2020. This car is meant to be a modern throwback to the legendary Bugatti EB110. This car was also made in celebration of Bugatti's 110-year anniversary. Keeping these things in mind, the car had to be a showstopper by every means. Although its styling may not appeal to each and every one, it will indeed be an ultra-rare as only 10 units of these cars will ever be made. Although costlier, the car comes in with the same W16 engine, however, produces 100 more horsepower and is 20 kgs lighter than the Chiron. The Centro DHE's TN light took 6 months to design and build. Engineers claim that the beautifully detailed and intricate daylight on the center of the aging was the single longest portion of the design and development process, requiring about half a year. The challenge was creating a three-dimensional effect that was functional and striking. Bugatti Devo The Bugatti Devo is named after Albert Devo. He was a two-time winner of the Targa Florio in 1920s with the Bugatti Type 35B in 1920 and Type 35C in 1929. It took two years to complete the paint job on Devo Ladybug. The brand fully commits itself to every single part of the design, development and manufacturing process. Just look at the paint job on the Devo Ladybug. The Marquis designer spent two years coming up with an intricate diamond pattern for the car's exterior to ensure it looks just like the insect namesake. The process was so time-consuming that at one point, the team almost gave up. Fortunately, they kept at it, and the resulting car is nothing if not a standout, even among the 39 other Devos. Bugatti produced 40 units compared to 500 units of the Chiron. With 40 units planned for the production, the Bugatti Devo is one of the most exclusive vehicles in the world. Bugatti sold each unit even before it was unveiled. Even before the silk sheets were taken off at the quail, Bugatti sold all the 40 units of the new Devo. This goes to show that the world will always have enough tremendously rich people who get to enjoy things like this even before we lay our eyes on them. The Devo produces 200 pounds of downforce more than the Chiron. With 1,000 pounds of downforce, the Devo is far more capable of putting all the power to the ground and holding its own in high-speed bends. Designers worked overtime trying to find an edge which will provide the Devo with more downforce than any Bugatti ever. The top speed of Devo is limited to 236 miles per hour. Interestingly enough, 
Bugatti went on to lower the top speed of Devo to 236 miles per hour compared to that of Chiron that is 261 miles per hour. It turns out that the changes made were simply too much for the tires. Added downforce, one degree chamber change and different suspension setup put too much strain on the tires and at 216 miles per hour they won't be able to handle the strain. Bugatti is actually saving your life with this limit. Finally, let's talk about the most expensive Bugatti ever sold. Bugatti Lavator Neuer. The Bugatti Lavator Neuer is currently the most expensive current generation car. This is the modern interpretation of Jean Bugatti's personal Type 57 SC Atlantic. The Lavator Neuer is one of supercar, meaning only one of these has ever been made. The Lavator Neuer is equipped with the same 8.0 liter engine from the Chiron, producing 1500 bhp of power and 16000 newton meters of torque. The Lavator Neuer also comes with special wheels, six exhaust tips, and a huge light up badge on the back that says Bugatti. That's it for this video. Let us know which fact caught your interest in the comments down below. We'll catch you in the next one.